Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girls and welcome laga laga and I'm back with another video. For today's video, we are reviewing a weave by Ali Pearl. So they are hair company and they sponsored this video. Um, let me just read the description of this weave. So this weave is an 18 inch body weave and it's a 5x5 HD lace closure and it is 180 density. Let me show you how the weave looks. This is the weave as you guys can see. This is how it looks. It's an 18 inch. I think it's a bit long for an 18 inch and it is pre-plugged this is a five by five uh can you guys see that you guys can see that it is pre-plugged this is how it looks inside so this is a very beautiful weave let me just show you the goodies that it came with it didn't come with much really so it came okay so it came in this bag over here and the weave was in this bag what else does it have inside okay let's see what it has inside okay it has um, this wig cap over here and it has this lovely scarf. This is beautiful. This is going to be useful for this video as well. So yeah, we will be using this scarf for this video. So yes, you guys, this is it. This is what it came with. Before we go into the video, you guys, please don't forget to like this video. When you like this video, it goes to a wider audience. So please like this video and also please watch all the ads. That's how we as content creators make money on this platform. So I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video and also watch all the ads. So yes, you guys, without no further ado, let's go straight into the video as you guys can see over here this part of the wig has not been bleached so i am going to go in with my foundation the reason i want to go in with my foundation over here is because i want it to blend properly with my skin so um the foundation that i will be using is my revlon color stay and this is in 010 you can use your foundation the foundation that you're currently using remember the reason that we're using the foundation is so that it blends properly onto your skin so that's what i'm doing on this process done with it here guys so this is how it looks after you put in your foundation over here so um this is how it is on this side can you guys see that now it looks like it has been bleached and it will blend to my skin because this is the color of my foundation this is how the wig um looks when it's on me you guys can really see that it's sort of like blended in you can't even see like where the lace starts so it's it is blended onto my skin so I'm doing this just to figure out where I want my wig to sit. Can you guys see that? And I need to cut this lace off. I need to cut this lace off and yeah. So over here, once I've figured out where I want my lace to sit, I go in with my eyebrow pencil. So yeah, I've got this eyebrow pencil over here. Let me just show you what I usually do. This is very important for beginners because it sort of um, shows you where your weave should start. So this is what I do. I So I just do this. Can you guys see that? I just put a dot over here over the lace and I just go like this. So just draw your dots on it. Don't make it too dark because you don't want it to be visible as well. Oopsie. Okay. So that's where I want my weave to sit. Can you guys see that? Can you see all the lines that I've made? So I'm going to cut this weave exactly on the spot over here. I'm going to do that step on the tripod because I am not really comfortable with cutting it like this because I cannot see myself or I cannot see what I'm doing. So I'd rather do it on the tripod. Here you guys, I'm just cutting the lace. So I'm going to start from this point and make sure that you're cutting this white part. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but this part is the part where um, the closure starts and that's where this lace is much thicker. So make sure that you cut this part. Let's do it. <laughs> Ok, 
okay cool so now we are done with that part of cutting um the lace so as you guys can see this is where the marking is i'm not sure if you guys can see the four dots still so it's here it's here it's here and it's here at the end so i'm going to put the weave on just to show you guys again where the weave will sit and then we'll apply the ghost bond as you guys can see this is where the wig is sitting and that is where we're going to put the ghost bond so i'm going in with the ghost bond and i'm using the back of my comb so I'm going to apply it on these spots over here and push it back. Okay. Make sure that you're not applying it. Um, don't make it thick. Just make sure that um, when you're applying it, you're also pushing it towards the back so that um, that part is not too bulky. So that's why I'm pushing the glue towards the back. I'm going to wait for the first layer to dry off and then after that I'm going to go on with the second coat. So let's just wait for it to dry off. You can use your hand or you can use your blow dryer but because I'm not in a hurry I'm just going to use my hand. Guys it's important that um, you wait for it to dry off before you put on the wig because if you're going to put it on then these white things will show so that's why it's important for you to wait for it to dry and um, so that it becomes clear and you can put on your wig so I'm going in with the second coat now Okay, it looks like we are done with it. We'll just wait for it to dry off. Let's just wait for it to dry off so that we can um, put on the closure and we can apply it. Let's just wait for it to dry off. So once it has dried off, just put on the lace. You guys can see that it's drying off and it is already tacky. I just go in with the back of my comb to stabilize my closure so yeah I'm just pressing it down so it can stick properly you can also use your fingers as well can you guys see how clean it is once you wait for it to dry off like you're not seeing any white spots any white things that are sort of like not proper or that are not correct or that are dirty like you're not seeing any white spots so this is how you're supposed to do it just wait for it to dry off so that you have a clean installation can you see that good child it's invisible and i haven't even done much to it it's already invisible so yeah let's go on child look at how clean this is it's so clean and it is so neat like literally no one can detect where the lace starts and where it ends can you see that that's what we want when we are installing a weave this is how the weave looks after the installation i'm gonna go in with my got to be um glue spray so um the reason that i'm using the spray is because if there are any mistakes that i make i find that this spray corrects everything but i'm not seeing any mistakes but anyway i'm just gonna put it on and i'm not gonna do any baby hairs i think with this type of weave like um with a weave that's not an ear to ear i don't think i need baby hairs i love it natural i think it looks nice like this so okay cool i'm just gonna go in with this and then i'm going to put my pantyhose over here so that it can lay flat okay let's do that
I'm going in with the hair dryer, you guys, because I want my hair flat, 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 flat. So that's what I'm trying to do here. And I'm also going to go in with the hot comb as well. So, yeah. I'm going in with my wax stick you guys so that I can lay this part flat this part over here so because there's so many like fly outs here as you guys can see so many small hairs so I just want to make that flat as well so yeah let me just do that and I'm gonna go in with the hard comb after this I'm going in with my foundation you guys so that I can define this line, this middle part. So now I'm going in with the curler and I'm not going to make it like curly or give it a much harder curl because it is a body wave so I'm just gonna make it sort of like a body wave curl so yeah just gonna go with the consistency that it has already Hey guys, we are done with the curls now. Let's take off this. This is late, you guys. Let me um, quickly go and put on makeup and then I'll come back with the final look. This over here is a bomb. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous hair. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls wear gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous weaves. So we're popping over here and the meltdown. Top tier child. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? This is so nice. I think the quality is out of this world. This is beautiful. This is definitely a weave that would last you a long time because of the texture of the hair and the quality of the hair. Remember, when we're buying hair, we're buying quality over the amount that you're spending. I know that most of us want to spend like less when it comes to spending on hair, but the more you spend, the better the quality. So this is definitely the hair that you guys should get. This is beautiful. This is stunning gorgeous hair for gorgeous girl let me turn and show you at the back how it looks whoopsie this is how it looks from the back you guys can you see that oh child i think this looks more like a 20 inch or like a 22 inch can you guys see where it ends at um my back can you see or maybe it's because i'm short so that's why it looks a bit um longer but yeah can you guys see like how it is child Ooh, this is so nice this is beautiful anyway you guys thank you so much for tuning in if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and also subscribe 
Also, please don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. Please like this video. Make sure that you've liked this video. I will see you guys in my next upload. Until next time, it is peace from me. Bye. For those of you who would like to purchase the wig, I will definitely leave the link in my description box down below. So thank you so much guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment and also subscribe. Also, please don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. Until next time, it is peace from me. Bye.